In 1509, King Manuel I ordered renowned map maker and cartographer Duarte Armas to journey around Portugal's existing border defenses and to catalogue them extensively. So what did I do? I set out to join him. I mean, I set out to follow him 500 years later. So I mapped out this whole route and I went off and I filmed all these castles. Well, not all of them. I actually planned out the whole Alentejo bits and the Algarve bits, and I went off on a mission for about three nights, and I went to go and film them all. And here is what happened. Castro Marine Castle isn't normally this lively. I managed to catch it during the medieval fair, which happens every year in summer. It was a great start to the castle trip, and I'm sure it wasn't this lively back in 1509 when Duarte Armas arrived. Here's a quick history. So the Phoenicians controlled it in 1000 BC. The Greeks came along in 854 BC. Carthaginians took over in 375 BC. And then the Romans invaded in 200 BC. The Vandals responded in 410 AD, and the Muslim invasion happened in 700 AD. And then the Christians reconquered back in 1242. The Templars were ordered, were given the actual castle as their capital and made this their headquarters in 1319. And then they moved to Tumar in 1357. Manuel Primero ordered repairs in 1504 AD. So as you can see, it's had a long and illustrious history of trade, settlement, and defense. Wow, that's a pretty good castle, isn't it? Not bad for number one. But before we leave Casamarina, I've got to show you a few of the festivities that we experienced that afternoon. Portugal, we turned around late night, no? 
it's uh, I'm having I'm having a bifana with this beautiful lady here who we've lived next door to for most of our lives. She's a good family friend. Hello, Paula. Hi, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this uh, crazy excursion. It's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> well, I'm so glad I did it because I, it's funny. <laughs> I left Paolo and headed 30 minutes north to Alcutin where I spent the night in my car. Morning. Well, that was not the most amazing night's sleep in the world, but it's, you know, I got a couple of hours sleep, so it was right. And I uh, feel a little bit rested. But um, So I'm here in Alcutin and we're going to go and film the rest of these castles. Um, there's two castles, actually three castles here. There's an old castle on the Portuguese side, another old castle on the Portuguese side, and a Spanish castle across the road. So, um, definitely going to film these and then and then head back to base. But it's actually quite exciting to have um, to film the first three castles in this mission: Kashmoring, Alcuting, and Mertla. It's not exactly van life, but uh, you never know. You could might might be able to make this quite fun. So these ruins belong to a fortification that was built and inhabited during the Muslim period. It would have been founded during the Emirate period, like 8th, 9th century of the Umayyad dynasty. And it was at its zenith during the Caliphate period and the kingdoms of the Ta Taifas in the 10th and 11th centuries, with enlargement and remodeling of the defensive and residential structures, and in particular, the construction of a small mosque. At the end of the 11th century, with the Almoravids and the period of great instability caused by successive internal revolts, the degradation of the fortification began and it was completely abandoned in the Almohad period in the 12th and 13th centuries. The architectural structure and the remains that have been found indicate that it was a fortified palace, the residence of a Muslim lord with the military function of controlling the Guadiana River and exploiting the local mining resources. Its inhabitants would have had urban habits as shown by eating implements and the leisure activities attested to by fragments of ceramic drums for music and by the large number of playing pieces and boards. I headed off to Alcutin proper and noted that it was only during the period of the Reconquista that the castle actually began to gain a specific form. It was integrated into the Portuguese crown after 1240 
and the monarchs took various steps to increase settlement and establish an authority within the region. And they did this by reconstructing and reformulating the defenses during the second half of the 13th century. So as you can see, Al Kuting is actually quite a beautiful place to visit. Now these, all these three places, Kasimaring, Al Kuting, and where we're heading to now, Mertla, are fantastic places to visit because there are some places which I went to a little bit later on this trip and they weren't that amazing to be honest. But these three, definitely go check them out. Alright, off to Mertla, let's go. It is impossible to say when the castle of Merkla was actually built because it's got a long and complex history and its construction occurred over several centuries. Now the castle's origins date back to the Roman period when the town was known as Mertilis Julia. The Romans built defensive structures in the area which may have included some of the foundations of the later castle. However, the castle as it exists today is primarily a result of medieval Muslim and Christian influences. So during the Islamic rule in the Iberian Peninsula, the Moors fortified Mertla, and elements of the castle's structure were likely constructed or improved upon during this time. Now in the 13th century, after the Christian Reconquista of the region, the castle underwent further modifications under Christian rule. So given this complex history, it's challenging to pinpoint a single date for the construction of Mertla Castle. It evolved over many centuries, with various rulers adding to and modifying its defences. But it was a very important centre during the Roman times and also during the Moorish times. Now you see that hotel down there, that Hotel Mazil, which is, forms part of the Hotel Beira Rio. And I sat down with the owner, Paula. So Paula, muito obrigado por estar a falar comigo sobre o assunto. Sim. E o seu so Hotel Mazil aqui, como a com, com história inicia? O Hotel Mazil iniciou da seguinte forma. Primeiro, ao lado, está o Hotel Beira Rio. Ah, sim. E era de família. And we had a chat, all in Portuguese, so I won't subject you to all of that, but it was um, very interesting. And she was telling me about how the, the castle is so interconnected with everything. There's, an, there's a, a tunnel deep inside the castle that goes right down to the river. So when the castle was under siege, they could take the horses down and they can get water from the river to quench the thirst of all the people under siege. And after that, I took a walk around Mertla. So join me on a walk around Mertla.
So those are the first three castles of this trip. Kasmaring, Alkutin, and Mertla. We're going north. And there's a lot more castles. Obviously, there's 62 castles in total. So we're going to flip through a lot of them a lot faster than we've gone through these three. And next week, I'm going to be just going through the northern Alentejo stuff. And it's really, really amazing. The most beautiful castle there. I'll let you into secret. Actually, I'll tell you next week. Okay, I'll tell you next week. It is a stunning spot. And I was there for sunrise. It was my most amazing. And then I got to thinking, you know, these things would be so much better if there were more people along with me. So I'm trying to make some plans to bring along more people, have more fun on the route as well. So look, I look forward to that. Also, I'm heading up to a stand-up paddle week um, near Erisada. I'm going to go and surf. So I'm going to make that video as well, which is coming up. And then there's also this Algarve, you know, thing that I'm walking across the Algarve. So in between, I'm going to go up to missions to do these castles, do the Algarve trips. And I'm walking across the Algarve because we've only got to Villamora, basically. Got to head a lot, lot further west. Um, and then also in between, there'll be, you know, tons of really, really cool videos. So stay in touch and subscribe because otherwise, you know, you'll never be able to to know when my videos are coming up next. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. And we'll see you next week. Olga Addicts.